Hello everyone in this lecture today I'm going to talk to you about long non-coding RNA target prediction using different web-based tools uh, such as LNC-TAR, MIRGB and RNA-22. In this lecture we are going to sh we're, we're going to see if there is interaction between long non-coding RNA and messenger RNA or micro RNA and long non-coding RNA using these a different in silico tools. So first uh, the definition of long non-coding RNA. Long non-coding RNAs are the RNAs or the transcripts that do not encode for proteins and they are more than 200 nucleotides in length. Okay so these are called long non-coding RNAs. Many of these long non-coding RNAs they resemble messenger RNAs in aspects such as they are they have five prime cap they can be spliced they are polyadenylated but they differ with the messenger rna in that they do not code for the proteins yes and they are sh shorter in overall length generally and and also they have longer exons and the expression level is comparatively lower so the main thing about these long non-coding rnas are they are more than 200 nucleotide long and they do not code for the proteins. Now that I have talked about these different uh, web-based tools, let's first start with LNC-TAR uh, where we will be predicting if there, there is interaction between long non-coding RNA and the messenger RNA. Okay, so LNC-TAR, this is the website to, to, to get this tool. The, so the, the link for the which I will also provide in the description. Okay, when you enter the website, something like this, uh, will pop up then what you have to do is that you have to hit on prediction okay just hit on prediction and for the purpose of demonstration what I'm gonna do is that I'm just gonna I'm just, just gonna use examples from uh, this this website itself so I will just hit here okay here you have to put your uh, query long non-coding RNA in the faster format sequence okay so if you have any long non-coding RNA then you have to put that sequence here in the faster format and here you have to put the sequence of the target RNA in the faster format okay so this target RNA a uh, can be messenger RNA okay so for the purpose of demonstration what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna use the examples I'm just gonna hit on use examples you see that this is one long non-coding RNA uh, BC200 in FASA format and this is another long non-coding RNA and PP, PPA uh, minus AS1. This is also in the FASA format. And here also I'm, I'm just going to use uh, the example. So the, so the example uh, RNA that we'll be using is ARC. So here you can put any sequence of messenger RNA of which uh, you know you want to predict if the given uh, long non-coding RNA is interacting or not with this particular uh, messenger RNA okay so after this so what you have to do okay just put the sequences in faster format here long non-coding non RNA sequence here uh, the messenger RNA sequence and then just do submit okay and press ok this might take few minutes or few seconds we just have to wait I mean normally it takes around 25 seconds to uh, 30, 30 seconds or even up to 45 seconds okay so now as you can see that after we submit it now we can see the results this BC200 BC200 and NPPA AS1 they are interacting with this uh, um, AR, BC200 is interacting with ARC and you can see this is the details but if we want to see in the form of you know where actually the interaction is happening you can see that they, it shows uh, some some something like this right so you really can see where the interaction is happening in the form of sequences then you can use this kind of pictures okay uh, what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna go back I'm just gonna go back and so I'll just go back here and I'm just gonna get rid of this uh, BC 200 and I, I will see that if there is interaction between let's try to see that if there is interaction between this NPPA AS1 and ARC okay just one long non-coding RNA and one uh, messenger RNA let's see that if there is interaction okay I'm just gonna hit submit because as you know that in this LNC TAR tool here here we put LNC RNA in the FASA format and here messenger RNA or our target RNA in FASA format okay so just let's do every uh, what we did just before just submit 
but and if you have some sequence in fasta format as a file you can also uh, simply browse that okay hitting on browse then you can browse it from your computer or from uh, the, the, any other location um, I mean online location okay so I'm just gonna hit submit so let's see that if there is interaction between these two I'm just gonna hit OK now and as you can see that oh so there is some error it says okay so there some error happened so let me just go back okay I'm just gonna clear this okay so let's just clear and do everything again uh, clear it use examples and let's just use this BC 201 not the other one okay just BC 200 and here use example and let's do submit and press OK and let's see if there is interaction okay as you can see that this BC 200 is interacting with a ARC a target in in different locations we can also download the results in this format so uh, so we, we can see that there is interaction between BC 200 and ARC okay uh, so this is one example guys so we can really predict if there is interaction between long non-coding RNA and the messenger RNA using LNC tar this is one tool okay so then I'm also gonna show you another example where we will see that if there is interaction between the, this long non-coding RNA and and long non-coding long 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 non-coding RNA and micro RNA using MIRDV. So what you have to do uh, to use this tool, uh, just go to mirdv.org. This is the website. Then you have to go to custom prediction, and in the custom prediction, uh, so what we will do is that we will use uh, this mRNA target. Although we will press it as mRNA target sequence, but actually we will put here long non-coding RNA sequence. Okay, that I will show you and species okay species I will change it to mouse why that I will explain here guys okay this is one article that I found online and which says that this MALAT1 it is interacting with these all different micro RNAs right so this MALAT1 when I read that it is this long non-coding RNA is from mouse okay so MALAT1 is a long non-coding RNA which is from mouse that's why we have to hit mouse okay so what I will do, I will just copy the sequence of this long non-coding RNA. Yeah, I will just copy the sequence. I will just copy the sequence, copy everything. Yep. And this is a long non-coding RNA, which is MALA2. And I will put it here in the MIRDB. Why I selected mouse? Because this long non-coding RNA is from mouse. And what kind of submission we are making? We are making the submission as mRNA target sequence, although it's mRNA target written here, but actually we are putting long non-coding RNA sequence, right? Not the mRNA. So I'm just going to hit uh, submit it here, paste it, and then I will just press on go, okay? Just hit go. And as, as you know, this also might take some time. Yes, the result are now ready. Then I'm going to hit on retrieve prediction result. So as you can see guys, we can nicely see that there are several micro RNAs which can target uh, this particular long non-coding RNA. So basically we can use this MIRDB, we can use this MIRDB to predict the interaction between micro RNA and long non-coding RNA. So if you know the sequence of long non-coding RNA, then you can put the sequence here and and hit on go and then this will give you the list of micro RNAs which interact with this particular long non-coding RNA okay so this is one uh, tool to predict the interaction between micro RNA and long non-coding RNA so I'm also gonna talk about another tool which is called RNA 22 guys okay uh, so this RNA 22 is another tool which you can predict if you know the sequence of the micro RNA and if you know the sequence of long non-coding RNA okay so what you need to know is the sequence of micro RNA and sequence of long non-coding RNA here you can put up to 50 micro RNA sequences and see that those if those micro RNAs are interacting with the long non-coding RNA or um, the, the, the given long non-coding RNA or not okay so uh, we will do the same thing here so what we will do we will simply put uh, this microRNA we have I have put here one microRNA sequence mid 217 uh, 
AF5P and this MALAT. This is the long non-coding RNA sequence. This long non-coding RNA sequence, I got it from here. And microRNA sequence, this MIR-200 a 17 sequence that I got it from Mirbase, okay, so from here, uh, mirbase.org. So why I chose these? Because, you know, in this article, they claim that uh, there is interaction between MALAT1 and Mir217. And we are going to see in silico that if there is interaction between these two, uh, one, this Mir217 5P, uh, Mir217 5P microRNA and MALAT1 long non-coding RNA, okay? So this will give us the, uh, the answer. So just press submit. I'm just gonna uh, keep all the parameters default and I'm just gonna hit submit, okay guys? So uh, this might also take few seconds, even up to minutes. So we just have to wait and see what it shows, okay? Waiting and waiting. As you can see, guys, now the result has been displayed. So, uh, MIRNIM, the microRNA that we put was MIR217, and the sequence was the long non-coding RNA, MALAT1. As you can see that nicely, there is, a, the, this is the heteroduplex, which is suggesting that there is interaction between uh, the MIR217 MIR and the long non-coding RNA um, MALAT1. So what I just what I did is just put these this mu 217. This is mu 217 sequence that I put here, and this is uh, MALAT1 long non-coding RNA sequence. And then I just put I just entered in submit, and it took some time to load the results. It, 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 as you can see, it, it is showing uh, loading results. Please wait, and then now we see the results, and the result says that there is interaction between. MIR-217 and long non-coding RNA MALAT1. So what we learned in this lecture, guys, we learned and uh, that there are different web-based tools uh, to, to, mm, to, to predict long non-coding RNA target. So the, the tool number one is LNCTAR. Here we can predict the interaction between long non-coding RNA and any given mRNA sequence. And to predict the interaction between microRNA and the long non-coding RNA, we use MIRDV um, and RNA22. And with the help of these, we were able to see if there is interaction between uh, the given uh, given um, mRNA, so the, sorry, given long, long non-coding RNA and the microRNAs. I hope, guys, this video was helpful. Uh, please um, like and share the video, subscribe our channel, and also support us on at PayPal. I will provide the links for all the websites in the description. Thank you very much.